CPR is a very fundamental life skill. You never know when you'll be placed in a situation where knowing CPR could save someone's life. According to the American Heart Association, 88% of cardiac arrests occur in the home in the absence of medical professionals. Thus, the more individuals certified in CPR, the less likely a cardiac arrest will result in death. Today, I will be covering the benefits of knowing CPR, how to perform CPR, and share statistics about CPR. According to the American Heart Association, cardiopulmonary resuscitation is the manual application of chest compressions and ventilations to patients in cardiac arrest, done in an effort to maintain viability until advanced help arrives. Mainly used in emergency situations, CPR is used by medical professionals in case of cardiac arrest and arrested breathing. Bystanders certified in CPR can also administer CPR until medical help arrives. This is the reason why it is important to teach CPR and teach it to the general population. That way, if you ever find yourself in an emergency situation, you will know what to do until professional help arrives. CPR has three main steps. These steps were rearranged by the American Heart Association. They used to be ABC, Airway Breathing Compression. However, after the recommendation from the AHA, the steps were changed to CAB, C-A-B, Compression Airway Breathing. The first step is compression. In this step, if a victim does not respond, you roll him or her onto their back and begin chest compressions. To do this, place one hand flat in the middle of the victim's chest, place the other hand on the other with the fingers interlaced. Begin compressing. Two for adults and one and one half for infants. The next step is airway. It is important to ensure the victim's airway is open. Make sure the airway is clear of any obstruction, then open the airway as much as possible. To do this, tilt the head back with the chin up while the victim is on their back. The third step is breathing. After an airway has been established, take a breath, pinch the victim's nose, and place your mouth over theirs, creating an airtight seal. Give two short one-second breaths. While you are giving the breast, look for the victim's chest to rise and fall. This indicates they are breathing. The breast should follow the compressions. After each 30 compressions, stop and repeat the step. 30 compressions to two breaths. Familiarizing yourself with the steps or procedures of CPR could help save lives and prevent unnecessary deaths. Knowing CPR could help save the life of someone close to you. According to the AHA, 70% of people do not know CPR. And with over 383,000 cardiac arrests that happen every year, many more lives could possibly be saved if more people knew CPR. The administering of CPR to a victim can double or even triple a victim's chance of survival. Many deaths resulting from cardiac arrests could be prevented by the correct application of CPR. The percentage of preventable deaths are very alarming. Many jobs require periodic CPR classes or refreshers for employees. The more widespread and common this knowledge is, the safer our society will be as a whole.